hello everyone welcome to my new video this is about managing the surface pro screen flickering issue so the owners of surface pro already know this issue and uh, i'm going to share how i am managing this issue and uh, implementing a solution uh, through use of heat sinks so from the net i have uh, researched on this topic and i have come to know that uh, uh, people think that this is a design issue uh, where the uh, cooling system and the screen are the culprits and uh, this flickering can be um, can be avoided by changing the screen um, but i'm not sure about it i am not willing to open my surface pro so uh, i have uh, tried to implement certain solutions i will share them and my experience with my surface pro 4 is that uh, the flickering generally occurs when um, after uh, I'm using it for a long time and there is heavy processing some video recordings and uh, or uh, gaming or some I'm working with some heavy stuff so this happens then uh, generally two three hours is fine nothing happens so how I'm managing is that uh, generally I try prefer to use an external display where whenever there is a possibility and um, I have reduced the screen resolution from whatever it was to 1440 to 900 so uh, with at this resolution there is uh, uh, less black border um, and uh, I can see a big screen I can use a big screen um, because less big because of less less pixels I believe that there is uh, less stress on the graphic card and the cpu so less heat is produced and uh, uh, and the second thing is i uh, reduce the screen brightness uh, to a level where i can use it comfortably my screen is not bright so with these um, steps i am managing my surface pro flickering problem I can use this for hours but as soon as there is some heavy processing the flickering star starts again so uh, currently uh, what I'm doing is I am uh, trying to implement uh, external heatsink and fan at the back of my uh, surface pro this is a new experience i can share full results after five six months but so far um, i have installed one heat sink for uh, last three weeks it's he heating heating up this means that uh, heating heat is being transferred from the from the uh, surface body to the heat sink so it's, it's warm i can uh, touch and feel the heat so i think this will be uh, helping and now i am going to implement I am going to paste the another heat sink. Uh, well, uh, one of my tries was to use a cooling pad, and I got this six pad, six fan cooling pad. Uh, thinking that there are so many fans, so uh, I will get get rid of this flickering. But this failed miserably, and uh, just wasted money of this on this cooling pad. This is not helpful in case of Surface Pro. So right now, uh, the heatsink and uh, for fan solution, I have this hardware. Uh, there were there are two heat sinks, uh, eighty by eighty by seven mm. Another two sinks, sixty by thirty by eight mm. And I used thermal conductive heat sink plaster, and there there was. Uh, 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 USB fan, 5 volt USB fan that clips on the uh, heat sinks. So I will take you to the hardware one by one. So this is the heat sink 80 by 80 mm and the height is 7 mm. 
it has costed me $20 um, so all the hardware I have ordered you, you are going to see is from the Aliexpress I will not show you the vendor because this is not about advertisement of some uh, specific brand I'm just sharing my solution and then I have ordered two 60 by 30 um, uh, by 8 mm heat sinks so this is 8 mm because I was unable to find 7 mm they are yet to receive uh, and after that uh, this is the 5 volt heat sink fan this is again yet to receive but uh, you see I can screw it on my heat sink and uh, with this USB port I can power it from my Surface Pro so this is the idea and uh, then you need thermal conductive plaster so that um, uh, the heat sink uh, get a good grip on the back of Surface Pro and uh, the heat transfers very quickly so this is the one I have found after some research on Aliexpress I, I, I'm using it I don't know this is the perfect one or not but this is what I have used this is ST922 this is 5 gram small tube and this and they say that uh, this should be uh, 0.1 to 0.5 mm and the thinner is better so it works between temperature range of minus 60 to 200 celsius and they say this has this has got high strength and fast bonding and uh, heat heat up this plaster to stick so i will show you my you my videos in a while that how this is this is being implemented okay that's it so we can go to the video right away but one thing i wanted to share yeah I can tell you in the, the during the video okay let's start the video where it is so here is my surface pro there is already one installed heat sink and you can see that it is fixed quite good perfectly so the, with the same thermal paste I'm going to show you and uh, you can see the that uh, initially actually I, I plan to place the two um, heat sinks together but uh, then uh, when I was trying to implement I realized that if I open the stand uh, this will uh, the height of the heat sink will hinder and if I place it bit up it will cover the camera so now I'm planning to place it towards the corner but uh, there is another issue with the first heat sink that this is too near the corner so if you want to place any if I want to place any cover uh, it can hinder in that so now I will be uh, placing this heat sink uh, not uh, not very near the corners and I do suggest that uh, if you uh, are planning to implement this please draw a border with some lead pencil or so so that when you uh, have got paste on back of the heat sink you exactly know where to place it so here I will place my the other ones which are st still in transit in the center 60 by 30 but in this corner I'm going to place this 80 by 80 heat sink so um, this is the plan right now to place it here and I will uh, place it in a way that uh, the grooves are vertical so that heat can escape easily then that's my thought on that and um, I'm starting to, with the cleaning of the surface this is very important because uh, it, there can be fingerprints there can be some dust um, on the on the back of the surface and even I'm going to clean the a new heat sink uh, so that everything is clean and there is no issue in bonding or heat transfer so this is the thought um, and uh, you can see that I am cleaning thoroughly twice so I'm done with the cleaning it's time to open the plaster 
and uh, you can see that there's a very small tube and uh, this is TR922 um, maybe you can find a better one but this is the best one I could trace from the from AliExpress stores and I'm going to waste few matchsticks oh, these are used to level the paste over this heat sink and uh, so let's open this tube and I'm going to pour it over the heat sink and then I will choose the matchstick to level it out if you recall that uh, the manufacturers have recommended that it is better to apply uh, between 0.1 mm and 0.5 mm and uh, thinner is better so it's, it's not about thickness uh, principally because um, i believe that the space is required to transmit the heat so if it is thick it will not um, transfer the heat properly but at the same time we don't want it to be loose uh, we want it to be glued hard with the back So I will try to put a bit more and uh, spread it out and then when attaching with the surface back I will press this heat, heat sink a bit so that uh, it can uh, even spread more evenly. So you can see that uh, even the 5 gram is good enough for 80 by 80 mm heat sink. So I think it's ready, almost ready to be pasted. So just I think it's better to keep the groups vertically open so that heat can escape easily. Just putting it in a way that it is. Um, better aligned and uh, just putting it back so if there is a hurdle the heat sink can be changed and this then you can see that I am just pressing it so that the paste can spread evenly with the pressure and you can see that the excess paste is coming out of corners So all right the placement is complete and uh, the next step is to heat the heat sink so that this paste can can grip and can soon, uh, connect with the bag and for this I am going to use a hair dryer so I have turned on the hair dryer and so what I have done is I don't know how for how much time this should be done but uh, what I have experienced with the first one and this one is that um, I have done it, it in two uh, portions for the first minute uh, I have heated it with the hairdryer for one minute and I have taken out the excess paste so that the back remain mostly clean 
so, so for one minute I'm going to use the hair dryer and then I will give it a break for like two three minutes and then again I'm going to use the hair dryer for one minute for one minute so I'm cleaning it up for the excess period because once the this so after two three minutes wait uh, it's time again to heat it for another minute and I've just started uh, heating the heat sink again all right guys uh, this is how I have pasted the heat sink and uh, after heating it twice I have put it uh, uh for uh, let's say drying for like couple of hours two hours and after two hours uh, the heat sink is uh, solidly attached with the back of the surface so uh, this is all for till now when i receive the rest of the hardware i will do the installation and then do the testing and share my uh, experience but um, as I am recording this uh, video right now this is this is being recorded on uh, the same surface and uh, I can uh, when I touch the heat sink new which we have just installed I can feel the heat so this is working perfectly and heat is being transferred to this heat sink so I'm not sure uh, how this turns out but once all the heat sinks are there I, I don't intend to install the fan right away but because it will be very uh, the, the notebook will be like you know this tablet will be very thick so i hope that his heat sinks would be good enough to uh, solve this issue and uh, uh, i can use the fan whenever i'm going to do heavy processing on this tablet so that's it that's all for now and uh, hope to do the next video soon i received the rest of the hardware